I'm Teresa Butoff Perkins and I'm running for re-election to the Greater Clark County School Board. I've just served my first term. It's coming to an end at the end of December and I am running for re-election to my district seat. I've been involved in education, public education, all of my life, my entire career. I retired after 40 years in education. Um, I started out as a math teacher, and then I was a counselor, and then assistant principal in a junior high of 1,200 students. That was my least favorite job. And then I became principal. Those, I spent 23 years in that one school doing those four different jobs. And um, then I went to central office where I was the um, director of middle school transition and the last eight years I was assistant superintendent for curriculum and instruction. Now I share that with you because, not that I couldn't keep a job, but I share that with you because I have pretty much um, sat in, in every seat in education. Um, I, was, I was over the data, I was over the assessment as assistant superintendent so I pretty much can see the big picture in a school corporation, and I believe that's helped me in this first term on the school board. I've lived in Greater Clark's district all of my life, and I've lived in this home for 40 years. So I'm not new to the district, and I'm not new to the school board. Uh, I mean, excuse me, the school system. Um, I think one of the things that um, may set me apart is my work ethic. Before every meeting, I read, I research, I ask questions, I listen before casting a vote. I also have never missed a meeting in the four years, three and a half years. I have never missed a regular meeting or a special meeting. Um, the voters elected me to serve, and I believe that is what I need to do. Um, <clears throat> I also believe that I have other other um, special skill sets that help me on the school board, one of which is I'm a uh, licensed uh, strategic planner, and strategic planning is very important these days. I also have been trained in consensus building, and uh, one of the things that I think that I have brought to the board, or helped with on this board, is um, discussion and consensus. Um, it doesn't mean that you agree with everything. It means that you work through issues, you look at the positives, you look at the negatives. And in doing so, I can tell you that this board has always kept the children, the teachers, and the administrators, as well as parents, in their sights. The school board is not a place for vendettas. It's not a place to get even. You need to know your role as a school school board member and you need to know when it's not your issue you need to uh, such as hiring such as hiring coaches um, yes we we do the final I agree I hold up my hand and vote but we rely on the uh, administration and whomever else is involved in the uh, interviewing practice in, in, in the interviews and bringing it to us um, I'm passionate about education. I have been passionate about education my entire life. I think when I was four years old, I told my father, I'm going to be a teacher. And I've spent, the, I'm 68 years old, and I've spent the majority of my life with, with students in education. While on the board, one of the things I love to do is visit the schools. And I do that as often as I can. I love to go in and to the classrooms. I call it getting my kid fix because for my 40 years in education, I saw kids every day and teachers every day, and um, that's very important to me. I want to explain a little bit about how the school board races run. We don't run as a Democrat or a Republican. We just run from a district. And if you will remember this, you need to turn your ballot over and the school board races are on the back of your ballot. There, you will have four different districts 
to vote for somebody in. Uh, and you can vote in all four of the districts. Even though I have to live in District 7 in order to run, people in Charlestown, New Washington, they all are able to vote for somebody in each of the four districts this time. So keep that in mind when you go to vote. I would be proud and humbled to represent you again on the school board. Thank you.